They're trying to say, this is all over social media right now, that John Wayne tried to assault her. Uh -huh. And here's the thing, I was reading this this morning, I'm going, well, that's bad if he tried to assault her. They even reported in some legitimate outlets that eight security guards were required to keep the Duke from physically attacking her. The only problem is, I couldn't find any evidence anywhere, aside from her yeah. saying, like, a few years ago, that John Wayne assaulted her. Is it because they thought he was actually the Duke? Yeah. <laughs> Here she is, Little Feather. <laughs> Stupid. Little Feather uh, speaking on Brando's behalf, uh, rejecting the award, lamenting the treatment of the term they used back then, American Indians. The problem is, it's largely a lie. But he here you go. Watch what they're circulating. Accepting the award for Marlon Brando and the Godfather, Miss Shashin Little Feather. She is gorgeous, though. That oh, yeah. Very regretfully, cannot accept. Why? This very generous award. Ooh, you and the reasons for this being are the treatment of American Indians today by the film industry. Boo! Excuse me. She's getting booed. She's getting booed partially by the audience. It's a split, it's a split reaction. Yeah. You'll understand why. Producers. And on television, in movie reruns, and also with recent happenings at Wounded Knee. I beg at this time that I have not intruded upon this evening. You have. And that we will, in the future, our hearts and our understandings will meet with love. Wendy got and a straightener. Thank you on behalf of Marlon Brando. This is the best part. I don't know if I should present this award on behalf of all the cowboys shot in all the John Ford Westerns over the years. <laughs> <laughs> you know, today, when he's older, it would be way worse because he's oh, lost that. Yeah. He's like, well, I didn't know if I should present after that little Indian whore came up and ruined it for the rest of us. <laughs> so this is the story. You need to know this because now you have the Academy apologizing. Notice there was a split in the cheers and boos. Yeah. You didn't even get boos, if I remember correctly, when Chris Rock was slapped by Will Smith. You got shock. I don't think you got boos because they weed it out of the audience. You all have to be lackeys, like Bill Maher's audience, right? They have a crowd animator. You train, you're like trained seals. Yeah. So this was uh, Wounded Knee 2 for some context. Context matters. The event uh, was in response to the killing of a Lakota man, okay, a guy named Wesley Badheart Bull. So <laughs> Wesley Badheart Bull was uh, killed by a white man, a guy named uh, uh, Gerald Schmitz. Daryl Schmitz, Daryl Schmitz, spelled it's, it's oddly. really weird. So here's the thing. There were some conflicting reports that led to the murder. Then I'll give you some information that does not involve conflicting reports. So one source claimed that Schmitz intervened and stabbed Bad, uh, Bad Hart after In Bad Hart <laughs> knocked another man unconscious with a log chain. Ooh. But Bad Hart's friends, this is the, the he said, chief said, they claim that uh, they heard Schmitz say he was going to kill him an Indian. Hmm. Okay. So at that point, we don't know. He says self-defense. They say he was just racist and he killed an Indian in front of a bunch of other Indians just for the sake of it. All right. Here's what we do know. That's irrefutable. All references available at loudhousecrider.com. In the two years before the incident, Bad Heart Bull uh, had been arrested. Uh, sorry, I'm thinking of uh, Sammy the Bull. Oh, yes. <laughs> Sammy the Bad Heart. Sammy the Bad Heart Gravano. <laughs> so before the incident, Bad Heart Bull had been arrested 19 times. Wow. Oh, including excellent. one for the assault of a police officer. Hmm. So we have he said, chief said, and we're going, well, okay, but hold on a second. This guy has an incredible criminal record. Now, Schmitz pled guilty to manslaughter, was released uh, from jail after one day. That's what people That's got really mad about. weird, yeah. Yes. People got really mad about, there are some oddities here. Understandable. Sure. So the American Indian movement, uh, AIM, not the messenger, but that's what, what they were called back then, the American Indian Movement. <laughs> I love how these, these big organizations like the NAACP, AIM, they can't change it now. No. You, know, you can do it with a sports team, but you can't do it when these people have declared this to be the politically correct name and the ambassador no. for all people in that marginalized group. Now, like, well, you're not supposed to say Indian. What do we do? We already bought the plaque. So the American Indian Movement, of course, descended on... Bring this back to Wounded Knee. Mm. Wounded Knee 2, uh, you know, uh, 2, TP Boogaloo. Uh, <laughs> this is what happened. i will reading you a, a quote here. The references, uh, you can go and check them out. After fortifying the village, taking 11 people hostage, and pillaging the small grocery store, the American <laughs> Indian movement aim and its followers prepared for the worst. Now, the siege lasted 71 days. Yeah. Two Indian men were killed by snipers. Several more were wounded. Uh, it eventually was resolved after the federal government uh, agreed to investigate maltreatment, corruption. So four years uh, after the siege, AIM took over Alcatraz Island, 
declaring wow. independence from the United States, very similar to, you know, Chaz, Chop, Chop yeah. whatever, another one of those cities that doesn't really four exist. Years, four years before the siege. And then in 1977, uh, AIM member Leonard Peltier was convicted of murdering two undercover FBI agents, cementing the infamy of AIM. So if you see them, in other words, what you always need to watch is, like, we just talked about this being live, Merrick Garland, right? Yeah. When it happened, he said, or someone said on behalf of Merrick Garland, I had no idea about this raid. Sorry, warrant. I just don't want to be hit with misinformation. <laughs> exactly, this is what they yes. do. It's constantly laying down landmines, right? We reported that live. Okay, he didn't know. Yeah. But I said, that doesn't pass the sniff test. He kind of would have had to know, understanding how yeah. the legal procedure would have to play out. The same thing, I want you to apply this critical thinking. If you watch this, right, the story will be, oh, the Academy had to apologize because uh, John Wayne tried to assault her. Try and find the footage. Try and find any evidence outside of her claim decades later. And then ask yourself, why are some people booing her? That's, what, that's how this starts. As we yeah. see, we go, hold on a second. Is she saying wounded knee, the original wounded knee? No, why would people boo her for that? No, the reason she was being booed is for the same reason that if someone went up today and said, and on behalf of Black Lives Matter, whom we all support appropriately, some people would say, boo. No, why? Because it's a terrorist organization. Because we know that they've embezzled money. Because we know that they've hurt police officers, that they've destroyed right. cities. Not everyone is on board with you. So if you watch it, you go, why are they booing? And why is Clint Eastwood so comfortable coming up making fun of her? Because she was making ridiculous claims. And now, retroactively, the left wants you to believe that it was all true. It's not. At the very least, you have to admit that there are two sides to that issue. Comment below. Did you know any of this about yeah. Wounded Knee 2, Lost in New York? Watch Louder with Crowder live, Monday through Thursday, 10 a.m. Eastern.